What is going on outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. And today we're going to be discussing and breaking down some of the latest Red Dead and Rockstar news. This includes some concept art that is coming from a former Rockstar artist that could be related to this next Red Dead title, some very interesting development news involving RDR2, and probably the biggest story of all, Red Dead Redemption's PC mod being shut down by Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games. Nonetheless, gang, if you haven't heard, I am doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2. All you have to do is check the link in the description to enter, which also has a lot more information, and just be an active subscriber. Something that I did just recently announce were some western themed shirt designs, which include the wanted design for the Untamed Outlaws, and the new Legends Never Die design for those who understand, although John Marston and Landon Ricketts may be gone, their legacies live on forever. If you are interested in getting one of these shirts, there will be a link in the description as well. But I do want to start this off with the biggest topic of all that has made waves through the gaming community being reported by Kotaku, GameSpot, PC Gamer, and many other gaming websites, and that is Red Dead Redemption's PC mod has been shut down. This mod was pretty much bringing the world of Red Dead Redemption to PC. The team behind this had worked on it for two years plus, and not even a day after revealing the first teaser trailer for this, they were told by Take-Two to nix the project with a cease and desist letter. Honestly, this is horrible news for all PC gamers in the modding community. Now, what this could mean is that Sony and Take-Two really want PC gamers to just buy the PlayStation Now service, which as of right now is the only avenue to play Red Dead Redemption on PC, somewhat as it's pretty much just streaming it from the PlayStation 3 to the PC. Or honestly, this could also mean maybe there's plans for a release of a remaster for PC someday. Either way, it's definitely some sad news as this was looking promising. But next up is that we have officially passed six months since the first teaser trailer of Red Dead Redemption 2. A lot of people expected that maybe Rockstar would give some type of update on RDR2 with the milestone passing, but unfortunately all we got was another Grand Theft Auto Online update announcement with Tiny Racers. Yeah, I mean... It looks cool, old school Grand Theft Auto, but not really sure why this is being released now. Bit out of left field. But with this news, it probably means that again, April will equate to nothing. As we get closer to E3 2017, there are still some things on Rockstar's agenda, like their Gunrunner DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online, but right now, a lot of speculation is that we won't see that till June. May is going to be a very interesting month, as we have a new Game Informer issue cover to be revealed, Take Two's investor call, and the hype for E3 2017. Personally, myself, I still think that everything is on track if you compare the Tezo trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2 to all the other games being announced, like Call of Duty World War II. Destiny 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, most of these games haven't even shown gameplay and will be releasing this fall. Even though the chances of a delay are definitely rising with each day of silence, I still think that Rockstar could release a trailer maybe showing off some of the story in a release date in a few weeks, and then showing something at E3 on Sony stage, maybe some online gameplay, and still get the game out the door this fall. But as I have said, if we don't hear about Red Dead Redemption 2 at all in May, or at E3 2017, this game is for sure getting a delay. Moving right along to our next topic is some very weird Amazon changes to the Red Dead Redemption 2 listing. Again, this has actually worried many fans as pre-orders for Red Dead Redemption 2 are currently unavailable for the PlayStation 4, and many fans were getting worried this could be the first indication of a delay. But for some reason, also the review section of this upcoming game accidentally opened up for a short time. But speaking to an Amazon representative, they did clarify some of the misunderstandings, and it has been said that the quota has been reached for pre-orders for the PlayStation 4, meaning that they had a set limit of copies, and it got reached. More than likely, when Rockstar gives an actual release date and more information, there probably won't be a limit, but for now, this is just Amazon and the same goes for the review section accidentally opening up. But our next topic is some development news on this upcoming Rockstar game. Many of us have known for quite some time that Rockstar has been working on this since at least 2012 or 2013. But now we got some new information thanks to Twitter user Uncharted Place, who found on the LinkedIn profile of a former Rockstar artist that this game began production in 2011. Just a year after Red Dead Redemption was released, Rockstar was already planning the next game. Based on this former Rockstar employee's LinkedIn profile, this was just for concept art, so the game probably didn't go into full production like actually working on in-game stuff till around 2013. But I still find it fascinating that Rockstar has been actively involved with Red Dead Redemption 2 for 6 years plus now, which could be great news for those of us who wish to see a worthy new installment with RDR2. But now our last news topic of the day actually ties into the same former employee, as on their gaming website they have some very interesting concept art that could be related to RDR2. What we see isn't anything insane, but it for sure has that western flavor and it looks almost like part of Mexico. Anyway gang, before I get out of here I do want to share some very cool Red Dead themed art made by Deviant Art is Flarent Llamas, but thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, make sure to smack that like button, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and consider subscribing as I'm your best source for everything Red Dead Redemption 2 related, and remember, Outlaws to the end.